Yo, what's up everybody? It's your girl Miracle Alon. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be having a Chick-fil-A mukbang. Uh, plus a little bit of Starbucks because I got a uh, vanilla bean cream frappuccino with caramel drizzle. And I got a cake pop left because I already ate the other one. Okay. So this is like very spontaneous and random. I usually like to plan, not plan out my videos, but like I usually like know when I want to film a video. Um, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get dressed and I'm gonna film today. But today I did not do that. I'm just, I just got my food and I was just like, why not? So I have a bunch of stuff uh, with me, but I'm not, all of it is not mine. So I'm gonna show you what I got. I got the Chick-fil-A sandwich, pickles, just regular. And then I got um, macaron. I hate when cars pull up next to me. Like, I'm sitting over here by myself, minding my business, and you wanna pull up next to me. I thought it was a man. It's a woman and her children. I thought it was a man. Y'all probably gonna think I'm weird, but I put Polynesian sauce in my macaroni. Um, just for, I only do it when it's coming from Chick-fil-A though. I don't do it any other time, but when it's coming from Chick-fil-A. So, mind your business. I'm letting y'all in on the inside scoop. Try it, I promise you, you will not be disappointed. It's so good. Some of y'all might not like the texture. If you have like sensory issues, you might not like the texture because the sauce do change the texture a little bit. A little bit. Um, I need a trash in here. This is something I need to invest in. Get the trash in here. I don't know if they gave me a fork. And I don't believe they did. Don't give me a macaroni and don't give me a fork like what I'm supposed to eat it with and I don't keep forks on me sadly but yesterday I'm just gonna be talking to y'all about upcoming things in my life I'm gonna try to eat it with some french fries and see if that works Upcoming things in my life, things that are happening for me. I'm gonna eat it like how people eat, like a goosey, which is really good, by the way. Okay, if you ever had a goosey, I think I had the um the beef one. A goosey tastes like. If you don't live in the South, you probably never had this, which is very unfortunate. But hey, it is what it is. It tastes like stew beef. It tastes like stew beef. If you never had, and I'm not talking about potluck and that shit. I mean, deep Southern country, South Carolina, Georgia, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, stew beef. That's what it tastes like to me. So when I tasted it, I was like, oh my God, this tastes just like stew beef. But it makes sense because it probably was similar to that. Like, cause I, we just got like igus, like beefy goosey, I think. I'm not sure what it was, but it was good. Um, when I eat it again, the the stew, I think that's what it is. I'm very ignorant to this, so if, it, so if I'm wrong, please let me know. Like, that's good the actual like dough like the the fufu i didn't like it um i didn't like it and the reason why 
I didn't like it was because the texture of it was not giving what I wanted it to give. Also, I was eating it wrong, and I will apologize for that on my part. Um, because how are you gonna judge something you're not even eating it right? You're not supposed to chew e goosey. Some people chew e goosey, um, as I've seen on TikTok or whatever. Uh, but from like the people that you know it came from, they don't really chew it, they just swallow, and I can't do that, so I had to chew it. I like to taste my food. I feel like if you're just swallowing it, you're not really tasting it. Um, and so I chewed it and I just couldn't get with it. But the stew and the broth was good. It was just a little too oily for me. But I would eat it again. I would eat it again. I think. So as you guys know, if you don't already, I am going off to college very soon. I'm leaving on August 12th. Super excited. I'm just worried that the United States is gonna get shut down again. And then I'm gonna have to come home and do virtual. I'm so ready to get out of that house that I'm almost sad, not for me, but for like the other kids. Like I feel bad for like class of 20, class of 2020 that had to do their first year of college virtually. That sucks. As a senior, we had to do it virtually, and that sucks. So I just know that it was terrible for them. And it's like so many kids go to college to finally get away from their parents or their toxic household. And once you take that away, it's like they're stuck. And so I feel so bad for people that use college as an escape. Because it's like, if they cancel, which I hope they don't, we're gonna speak positivity, they will not. Um, like, if you just can't go to school, then you have to live in that environment if you're not able to financially be stable and move out, get an apartment. My room colors are white, pink, and gray. With like a hint of green, like a hint, but for the most part, white, pink, and gray. And I was really not want, I did not want to go with the pink route because I feel like every girl does light pink and white or gray for her freshman room her first year, for her dorm her first year. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to be the stereotype, but... I'm gonna be the stereotype. I went to Orangeburg today because I'm from South Carolina. I say this on every video just so people don't get it twisty. I went to Orangeburg today because I had to pick up some um, some pictures from Office Depot. And I got eight by 10, no, I got 8.5 by 11. So I was gonna get eight by 10, which would have been a little bit smaller than the ones that I got. But I got like 58 pictures for like 54. $53. I was gonna go on Shutterfly and get 60 pictures and have to pay $223 for the five by, I think, no, five by 10. It was something, but it was way too much. Like, like, mm -mm. and even when you get the, um, the four by six that they claim is free, that would have been like 125 for the amount that I was getting. That's too much money. I'm not paying over $100 for some printed pictures. And when I tried to go on Walmart, the price was running up. I went on, on CVS, the price was running up. Walgreens, the price was running up. Until I finally found a girl on YouTube and she was like, I did mine through Office Depot, da da da. I'm like, bingo. 
Because I would never. I tend to make stupid decisions with my money. But spending $100 on pictures, I'm not going to do. Unless it's like a photo shoot or it's like a canvas. Especially, especially when I can find the pictures in bulk. On Amazon, Etsy, stuff like that. I can get a whole pack of pictures. But I didn't do that because I didn't want 4 by 6 And they only come in 4 by 6 size. And I didn't want that. Because if you don't know how big a 4 by 6 is, it's like I'm doing like sideways. Like, so it's like this. Not that big. They're not that big. And so if I'm putting them to cover up my wall, I got to get like 100 plus take all of those down so I got big ones so that I wouldn't have to do it wouldn't be as much work you know what I'm saying like I said I am very excited for school I already met my school friends I already met them I was nervous about meeting my roommate I was very nervous about meeting my roommate only because let me turn air back on because it's hot in here y'all I'm like the monkey um I'm about the monkey in here I ain't gonna lie but the only reason that I was scared to really meet my roommate is because I'm so used to people disliking me off rip and so I'm like well damn she not even gonna like me that's what I already have about people it's like damn they not even gonna like me not because of anything I did or anything that I would do but it's just like I'm so used to people just not liking me for no reason that it's like I, my mind automatically goes to dang what if they don't like me like I was talking to my sister and I was so nervous I'm like I haven't met my roommate yet everybody else has met their roommate I don't know who she is I'm gonna check the website to see who she is if they posted it yet because they were taking their sweet precious time to tell me who she was and when they did I hesitated to text her because I'm like well damn it if she wanted to talk to me she would have texted me and that right there, I'm like, girl, you're getting in your head. You haven't done anything for her not to like you, so what are you tripping for? So, yeah. This lady in here, she... I don't want to look at her, but she fuck... I mean, she's staring. And she sent her children in the restaurant by themselves. Why would you send your kids in their body cell? Or at least I think she did. I don't know if they went to come get back in the car. I didn't see them get back in the car. Anyway, I'm going to be posting um, a what I got for my dorm video because I did not vlog me shopping. I should have. But I got stuff piece by piece. And so it wouldn't be that interesting of a vlog anyway. But I got a good, I got a, a good bit of stuff, so I'm like, I could just do a what I got for my college dorm as a freshman. Moving in, I know everyone's gonna be watching the back to school videos because every a lot of people, not me, because my school sent us back to school. We had a we had the option to do virtual, do hybrid, which is you do virtual and in person, but then they changed it to straight in person. Um, or virtual so no more hybrid no, you couldn't do both you had to do one or the other so of course i did full in person so i went to school every day um in person sat in the classroom every day talked to people face to face real life every day um so i've been to school but i know a lot of kids have not gone to school since march the 13th which was the which was last friday which which was the Friday that most schools got out of school in 2020 and didn't come back. So yeah, I know a lot of kids are gonna be excited to watch like the outfit of the week, uh, school edition, or what's in my book bag, or um, decorating my dorm, or come like vlogs in school during the pandemic, all of that stuff. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited. I can't. I can't hide my excitement. I was not. The truth is, I was not planning to go to this school that I'm going to at all. I was going to North Carolina A&T, 
that's where I was going. I didn't care about the money. I didn't know how I was gonna pay for it. I was just gonna go. Literally, I was just gonna up and up and leave. Seriously, I was like, I'll figure out how to pay for it later. But I'm gonna tell y'all what made me go. What made me choose the school that I chose? I I was with my friends one day and we was turning on this road we saw one of our we saw um our homeboys in the car like next to us almost and so i had already sped past them they was trying to talk to me so i backed up y'all know you're never supposed to back up when you're on the road unless you know it's no car behind you or like you on your street or whatever so I banked up. No, y'all, I y'all, I promise you, no car was behind me. It was nobody behind me. I had backup, right? Nobody was behind me. My best friend was in the back looking. Nobody was behind me. So how this happened, I don't know. Boom. Like, this is me. I'm backing up. Boom. But the thing is. The car that I hit ended up right here. So this is the car's tail light. This is my front light on the right. I don't know how that happened, y'all. I, I I can't tell you to this day. My grandma asked, she was asking me like, well, how did it happen? How did you end up behind them if you backed up? I'm like, I don't know. It sounds like I'm lying, but I'm not lying. I genuinely don't know how that happened. But right next to us was a laundromat. So when you go in the laundromat, like when you you can come from the main road through the laundromat parking lot to get to the other street, that's what people do sometimes. So I'm guessing she sped through the laundromat parking lot and she tried to go up. She probably seen me backing up and tried to go around me, but ended up scraping the side of my car. And that's how we ended up, how we ended up. That's the only way that makes sense as to how that happened. So I go home. My grandma mad. I go home because the car that I'm in is my mama's car. But I was driving her other, her old blue Honda. For, it's like a 2001 blue Honda. So I'm driving the car home. I'm embarrassed still. I had to take my friends home because my friends with me. She was like, take your friends home and then you come straight home. Cause we wasn't gonna go straight home. We had I was I was dropping off my graduation invitations, making round stuff. Various people's houses. So I was on my way to somebody's house when I hit that girl. And she my classmate. So I know her. Um when I hit her, I was on my way to give out give somebody my invitation. The boy that, the boys that was right there outside like in their car they like he lived right in front of he lived on the same road but his boys outside they stand in the road so they saw me hit her clear as day they saw me hit her and i'm assuming she probably was going to his house because that's where like everybody go at but i was like dang everybody done saw me everybody my classmates done see me hit this girl so the truck you put up next to me. I'm about to move. I think I'm good. They all of them saw me like hit her or her hit me. They the only ones that saw it. They're like the witnesses to the whole thing. They're the only ones that could really make sense of what happened because I don't, I don't know what happened. But my grandma was like, drop your friends off and come straight home. So I'm already knowing she's upset. So I go home and my grandma was like, your auntie said that you can't leave, you can't go out of state. 
for college. I'm like, what? Because I was supposed to be going to clock at time. Because they said no to a &T. Why? They really did not want me to go to a &T. But I had chose clock at the time. And I have family that lives in Atlanta. So I'm like, perfect. I'm, I'm, I'm straight. I'm good. So I'm thinking I'm going to school in Atlanta. She says, oh, your auntie said you're not, um, she was like, um, she was like, oh, your auntie said you can't go out of state for school. Who? Who can't go out of state for school? I was so heartbroken. I'm coming. I'm just about to park. I was so heartbroken, y'all. Like, I was heartbroken. I cried. My grandma like, I don't care nothing about your tears. First of all, be a little empathetic or sympathetic. No audio device Whichever one it is. Would you like to select an audio Understand device? Understand my feelings. Understand them because my feelings are hurt at this point. Y'all just took a dream and shattered it. Honestly and truly. Well, I'm I'm not gonna park over here. Yeah, I'm not parking over here because this is a man right here and he might look over and see me and be like, damn, this girl is crazy. She's not with her, so. Wait. But yeah, she was like, oh, I don't care about your tears. You have to go to state. You have to go to school in state, which is what she wanted all along, y'all. She wanted me to stay in state and go to the school that go to the school that I end up choosing all along and I just didn't want to do it and she was just she was rubbing it in my face when I had to choose it and I'm just like okay okay but I'm not mad with my decision um I'm really excited now because I know people now like I done made friends and everything so yeah I think it's gonna be good I just it's so close to home like I live an hour from the school that I'm going to. I could go back, I could go back and forth from my house to the school if I want to. That's probably what I'm gonna do. Like, I'm gonna stay in my dorm, but like on the weekends, if I wanna go home and I don't wanna pay for food, I'm gonna drive home and eat with my grandma to cook. If I need to wash my clothes, I'm gonna go home and wash my clothes. You know, stuff like that. But y'all, that's how I had to pick. That's how I ended up with the school that I'm going to because it's like, I was forced. I was forced. These people came all the way from Virginia. They must be traveling. They must be on like a, a family trip because ain't no way. There is no way. I'm about to go home and finish eating the rest of this food, get this food to my family because I don't want it to be cold. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you watch my latest videos. And we out.